Hi, everyone. I'm Serena Fazan, and welcome back to On the Record. What an inspiring show. We are sharing the dedication of a nonprofit started by a mother, breaking down barriers, creating real-life opportunities for those who just need a chance. And often it's our very own community that makes it happen. So we welcome back Cindy Bray, the founder Thank of Hope you. Services. And we have Paige Henry here now with the Tarpon Springs Aquarium. Really easy for me to remember because of the T-shirt. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. No, absolutely, Paige. So, you know, I wanted to start with you because you are one of Hope Services' partners which means some of the clients, you know, some people who use Hope Services mm -hmm. work with you. So Paige, tell us about that journey. How did you find them? Uh, what happened? Yeah, so actually um, Erica came to me, uh, I think it started with an email, and I said, yeah, that would be something very interesting that we could uh, definitely get involved in. I have a personal connection. My youngest brother has autism, mm. and we were in the unique position having a family business. We actually um, made and created James's Feeding Frenzy, and he wanted to work in food sales. So oh. that's what he does for us. And and uh, it was a wonderful opportunity for him. But of course, not every family is in the position to set something like that up. So I think it's a, a wonderful way to give back. And it's a big help to the business. I think we have um, four of Hope Services clients currently right now on board. That's fantastic. And so, Cindy, to go back to how it works, you are literally like writing out the paychecks. 66 Correct. paychecks today. Today. Just one month's payroll for wow. on-the-job training, work-based employment services students. So can you explain that just a bit further? So businesses like mm -hmm. Paige, I think, you know, to me, it's like a win-win situation. Your business, a family-owned business, might need some help. Sure. May not have, you know, the financial resources. You actually provide the fin financial mm -hmm. resources. We do. We do. And provide training, right? Mm -hmm. So if you could just explain that just okay. a little bit more. Once we receive a referral through the Department of Education and Vocational Rehabilitation, we do some evaluation on that referral to find out where's a good match for them. Paige was a good match for four of our people. And what we do is we match them up with Paige. We visit with Paige with our job coach and see if they're a good match. Then Paige, the only thing you're responsible for is signing their payroll or their timesheet at the end mm -hmm. of the month. Uh, we do payroll from the 18th to the 18th of each month, and mm -hmm. then we get their check on the 25th of each month. And so Paige uh, gives us the okay that they worked 20 hours, 40 hours, whatever they agree on, the employer agrees on, and uh, they're willing to learn different skills within your organization, and they can work up to 120 hours for you. And then we submit the check to them, and they get a check in the mail on the 25th of each month. And um, once they complete that on-the-job training, mm -hmm. they can go back to vocational rehabilitation and request another on-the-job training, and we'll place them either back with Paige in a different area or we'll place them somewhere else. They may say, you know, I liked working with the aquarium, but I think I want to try, and they might have another op option that they want to try. So if they wanted to, though, like, for instance, to stay with the aquarium, mm -hmm. but maybe in a different capacity, you would pay for an additional 120 yes. hours. Yes, we would get another referral from vocational rehabilitation for them to work another 120 hours with Paige, with the Tarpon Springs Aquarium. I mean, it, it, it sounds amazing and fantastic, and it sounds also, Paige, it seems, from from your perspective, has it been a very easy process? Oh, yeah, it's been, it's been really easy. I mean, it it was just super easy to get on board and then typically I like to have a quick interview before they get started and it's really fun because it's some people's first interview and you can see their interview mm -hmm. skills that they've been working on come into play. Um, I don't think I'm a very challenging interviewer <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but it's still a lot of fun to, to be that first interview for some of these kids and then um, and then it's great they, they you know they come and we have a pretty large volunteer program already at the aquarium so that's generally where they would start out and then we kind of see their strengths and what they're going to be good at I know we, we were talking about Val a young lady that's with us right now who is excelling at customer service mm -hmm. um, and it's really cool to see her come out of her shell in that way and so do you um, from the employer standpoint do you um, manage them close, you know, manage the uh, the employee closely or, uh, you know, how does that work and do you, re are there specific requirements as well? Uh, the only requirements are is that our people show up on time and that they work mm -hmm. and they have to be motivated to do the job and as long as they're motivated to do the job and the employer is training and equipping them to become successful, that's our goal. 
Yeah, and it really is on-the-job training right. um, as far as, you know, our end. Uh, I'm definitely, I'm at the aquarium uh, full-time, and so I do work with some of them. Generally, uh, we have the structure. I'm usually doing shows, kind of managing. I do have a staff member who's job basically is to, but they're basically managing everything mm -hmm. else as I'm um, uh, sort of doing an alligator show or whatever and so they're working very closely with them as well and we get to know them and their strengths um, uh, actually this hat I'm wearing if I'm not mistaken one of the one of the OJT um, one of your clients uh, moms made this hat for me. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so about that. Sweet. I just happenstance oh I wore it today. <laughs> you know, it's because, I, it, honestly, you know, you go back to the word hope mm -hmm. and how much we all need hope and it, you know, instills hope of, of life and having a great life and, you know, being independent and being mm -hmm. able to work. Mm -hmm. So, Cindy, how oftentimes, of course, I, I, I know the hope probably would be like Publix, that the employer would be able to employ mm -hmm. the person. But mm -hmm. say it's um, you know a smaller company and they, and they can't, they're trying. How many times can someone uh, utilize the program? If they're in our workplace employment services, which is youth, mm -hmm. they can do it up until they graduate from high school. If they're an adult and they've struggled with their employment and they've struggled with being successful, then they would have an opportunity with on-the-job training, and then they go into an employer, and opportunities open up for them then. So an employer, like the Tarpon Springs Aquarium, mm -hmm. they could, you know, do, as we talked about, a one 12-week or 11-week, 120-hour mm -hmm. right. within one area. Right. Then they can go to a different area. Mm -hmm. Is there a limit of different areas? Do you put well, that? Well, we would probably want them not to do more than two or three with the same employer mm -hmm. to give them opportunities with other employers, especially our youth. Right, absolutely. And it, it, it encourages them because they're now thinking about success and mm -hmm. they're now thinking about their future instead of thinking about what am I going to do when I graduate and mom and dad thinking about what he or she going to do when they graduate. They actually are looking at a future and hope is a positive future. 100%. And so the, uh, some of, so the clients are uh, maybe autistic mm -hmm. um, or struggle with some type of disability. Mm -hmm. Um, Army, or I, I, when I say Army, uh, veterans. Uh, veterans. Mm -hmm. We've worked with veterans. With a lot mm -hmm. of veterans, which, mm -hmm. gosh, we need. To, we owe them everything, right? right? right. <laughs> we, owe, we owe them everything. Right. Well, Paige, what would you say to potential employers out there um, to take a look at Hope Services? Oh, yeah, I would definitely encourage them to to give it a try because I like what you were saying earlier. It's not cookie cutter. It's not one size fits all. Um, you can express your needs to mm -hmm. Hope Services, and they will try to find people that you can help, but also that can help you. Right. So it's a wonderful opportunity um, for volunteer organizations, even to give someone an opportunity. Uh, at no cost to the business. You know, we have limited resources mm -hmm. in the family business, so it's nice to be able to give an opportunity uh, freely, I guess. And let's give a, a shout out, of course, to the Tarpon Springs Aquarium. So it's third generation right now? Is it that, is, yeah. Can yeah, you tell my, us a little bit about it? My grandfather helped my dad start the business, so I'm technically third generation. I've got an 18 month old son oh and uh, a niece that's just four months old, so they're fourth generation. Um, they haven't quite started the, you know, the alligator shows yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, we were on the Tarpon Springs Sponge Docks, and now we're in a much larger location on Alternate 19 and hoping to continue to expand. We are an animal rescue now as well. Um, we are still uh, a, a regular for-profit business. We haven't gone non-profit yet. I don't know what the future holds, but we do a lot of the, I would say, nowadays, it's like 90% of our animals are um, rescues in some capacity. Wow, congratulations to you. Oh, and you. Cindy, look. I can't believe it because you look so young. <laughs> like you're a mom too now. <laughs> yeah, I love the story of a mom changing the world, right? right. Yes. Right. Right. And absolutely, it's mothers like you. Thank you. you. Know, Thank you. Take action. I can't even tell you how much we appreciate you sharing your Thank story. You. But hold on for one sec because I want to tell you if you have a story to share, we're all about driving positivity and meaningful change. 
Please share guest ideas at production at redhousestreaming.com or please reach out to me directly on social media. As you can see, I am everywhere. And do not miss our shows. We have so many great shows. You just need to download our free RHS TV app. It's on the big screen, as you see, Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, and so much more. And of course, on social media at Watch RHS TV. And if you're interested in sponsoring or advertising any of our shows, you can just drop us an email at sales at redhousestreaming.com. Your support means everything to us because we couldn't do the shows without, without the support. But again, I am so thankful Thank that you. you. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Absolutely. And I've Thank got to you. give a shout out to Jackie Toledo, who, when, you know, when I said reach out to me directly. So she's a former House uh, representative, and she said, you need to do a show. On Hope oh, Services. Thank you. So. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you Jackie. Yes. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for being here. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe.